Wi-Fi systems at your home versus your company versus what you see in universities are very, very different. Why? Click that notification bell, click to subscribe, and we're gonna find out why. The networking devices that power your home can actually be just one device. It could be just a box you get from your internet provider, but that box is actually a modem, a router, a switch, a firewall, and a Wi-Fi access point all in one. Now, sometimes that's separated, sometimes the modem is separate, but in an enterprise, and what I mean by enterprise is a non-home environment, a university, a corporation, a stadium, a warehouse, a store, any of that is what we would consider an enterprise deployment. So enterprise versus home, the enterprise is the more difficult environment. But all those devices that I just talked about, again, think about the switch, the router, the access point, the firewall, instead of being in one box, those are each separate devices. And not only separate devices, there are a lot of times separate departments that handle each of these. You have the switch people, the route people, and maybe the Wi-Fi people that handle those systems. Now, specifically to Wi-Fi, what is the difference? What is the difference between what you have at home and what you have in an enterprise environment, like what Extreme provides gear for? Interestingly enough, consumer devices actually are faster to market. And what that means is, as new technology uh, comes out, whether that is the new standards or an increase in, in technology and speed, consumer devices focus on marketing. They expect to have a new device on the shelf every nine months to a year. That means when you go into your favorite box store or you shop online, you see the fancy new thing, it's got more antennas, it's boasting more speed every nine to 12 months. That's just the cons way consumer stuff works. If you think about your phone uh, and other technology, there's a very fast cycle there. In the enterprise, that is not the case. Uh, in the enterprise, when we build things, it has to be built for longevity and uh, robustness. And we'll get into that more. Consumer devices focus on marketing their speed and a lot of times range, the distance that the, the signal will go. Those are the two primary things that people buy their consumer system on. In the enterprise, that's actually not the focus. Now those are both sometimes good things. Oddly enough, range is sometimes not even a factor at all. But what we focus on more is manageability, um, accessibility. Is it compatible with all of the devices that we have out there? Are we getting good analytics? Those are the kind of things that when a company thinks about who they're going to go with, uh, for their networking services, those are the more important factors for them. And of course, cost. When we compare the technologies of the consumer versus the enterprise, we need to define the enterprise. Enterprise just means like professional style environments, corporations, uh, warehousing, stadiums, those kind of high end uh, education, uh, you know, universities, K through 12, those kind of education establishments, uh, they use and need enterprise class equipment. Uh, here's a good example. In your home, you have this single box and that single box, or you may have a couple, but generally you have this single box that you get from your internet provider. And that has a modem, switch, router, firewall, and Wi-Fi access point all built into one box that in a lot of cases costs less than $100 US. In the contrary, in the contrast, enterprise devices, there are not only separate devices for each of those things. Again, there's a router, it's a physical box, a switch, an access point, a firewall. In a lot of organizations, there are even different groups of people that handle each of those functions because they are all so important and also specialized. So again, that depends on the size of the uh, organization. Sometimes you have people that kind of do both. So with Wi-Fi specifically in mind, what is the difference between a consumer Wi-Fi system and an enterprise Wi-Fi system? Well, A, on the consumer side, their focus is different. On the consumer side, again, when you walk into the store and you have you know, the new router is what you most people would call it. Think, again, remember, think this is an access point with a router, with a switch. That system um, is designed 
for marketing speed and range. Those are the two eye-catching things that when they see on the shelf, the consumer says, oh, I want that. And aesthetics, it's gotta look cool too, especially for the gamers out there. The speed and the range are the things that are the most driving forces behind the consumer market. The other thing is consumer market is much faster for new generations. So they expect to have new product on the shelf. And by new, I mean a brand new, you know, hey, upgrade to this and it's better, brand new product every nine to 12 months. Let's contrast that, all of that to the enterprise. In the enterprise, the speed and range, while important, is not what the main focus is. So when I'm talking to one of my customers or prospective customers, it's not just a, hey, we're the fastest. That's, that's not the discussion. The discussion is more around how do we manage a uh, hundred, a thousand, a hundred thousand of these devices? How do you get your analytics from that? What data can it provide to help me do my job better as a network administrator? How interoperable is it? You know, what is it, is it going to make, is it going to connect to my devices that may be 10 years old? Again, think of retail or distribution center environments where they have old devices that are operating, you know, your warehouses, scan guns, things like that, that they don't want to upgrade every year or two like we do our phones. So is it interoperable? And how easy or difficult is it to manage? Think about, again, your home, you may log into your router every, you know, year or so to make some change. Uh, but in the enterprise, imagine managing 100,000, 100,000 of those devices. The other is stability. When you're at home and, oh my goodness, the router's not working very well, let's reboot it. You don't want to have to do that in an enterprise environment. Not only do you want to have to, it's not even acceptable to have to do that. Uh, again, think about scale when you have lots of devices. Um, and you have maybe just a few people managing them, you can't have them uh, need to be rebooted just randomly uh, in order to continue their function. So that stability is also very important. Uh, there are many times I've seen access points that have been running for years without a reboot. And that's normal, that's the way it should be in an enterprise environment. Uh, but at home, that's not really as, uh, as common. These are just a few of the ways that home is very different than the enterprise. Let's explore some more differences coming up soon.